Hey guys, Smitty here with Just Peeling Barbecue. Last week we did a tailgating type video. This weekend we're back to do another one. This is one of the best tailgating bite-sized foods that I've ever had. Probably the best one that I've ever made. It is bacon wrapped chicken poppers. Little pieces of chicken breast wrapped in bacon. But then what we ended up coating them with at the end is what kicked it up to another level. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. Alright guys, so let me show you what we've got to start off with. We have two pretty good sized chicken breasts. And all I did is I cut them up into one inch thick strips and then cut them into one inch pieces, basically. Then I took a pack of thinly sliced bacon and I cut that pack of bacon in half. So now I've got two halves of a pack of bacon so that we can uh, wrap them up, but there's not gonna be too much excess bacon around each piece of chicken. So I've got a half a piece of bacon around each one of these pieces of chicken. You just lay a piece down, roll it up, and then this is what we've got. Now all we've got to do is season them up. This is a really quick and easy appetizer for tailgaters. Really simple. So what I've got for seasoning today is our butts are smoking cherry habanero. I'll leave a link down in the description box for this. And we're just gonna coat this. But what's really gonna make this recipe is what we're going to do after we get them off the pit. Now, we're going to be cooking on the Yoder Smokers YS640S pellet smoker. We're gonna run at 350 degrees because I want this bacon to really crisp up. And so we're gonna run that until the bacon is done and the chicken is at least 170 degrees internal temperature. This is white meat. Now you could use uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs as well. That would be a great option too. So if you don't have chicken breast, get the chicken thighs. Now let's get them on the pit. Alright guys, so these were on about a half an hour at 350 degrees on the YS640 pellet smoker. And now to kick them up a little bit. Now the other day we went to the, our local winery here and they make muscadine wine. And I had a meatloaf sandwich while we were there. And um, it was one of the best I've ever had in my life. And it was because of this. And this is a balsamic sweet onion jam that they have out there at the winery. And this stuff is absolutely amazing. And so I thought, man, this would be outstanding on these little bacon wrapped chicken nuggets. So I'm gonna get a spoonful of this, probably about like that, and dump it in here. Now these are really, really hot. And so I think with the heat from that, once I toss this around, in here it's going to melt that jam all over these little chicken nuggets i think i'm going to add one more spoonful just start tossing it. Now I'll put a link in the description box to Watermelon Creek Vineyards, our local vineyard here. I'll put a link down in the description box. But now it's time to give this a taste test and see how we did. I want one that's really good and coated. And there's one right there. Beautiful color. Oh my gosh. 
super tender. Chicken is super tender. The bacon, the bacon's melting in my mouth. Mm -hmm. And then you combine it with this. Unbelievable. These two chicken breasts made 23 of these. You better get like six or eight chicken breasts because I'll eat all these by myself. Great tailgate food. Hope your team comes up a winner. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Let us know how you tailgate and what you bring out to the tailgate party. Till next time, we'll be piddling. Go Vols. Holy cow.